All right, so for today, we've got some Chandras. We're back to two Tastigers. I've cut the big change that thing is I wish, and we want to keep track of, I've cut a Godless Shrine for a second Blood Crypt because we've added Angers and Chandras to the deck. So I want to keep track of, do we ever wish we have a Godless Shrine and does that bite us? Opinions on Amulet Titan. I think the deck's great. You can find a bunch of me playing it on my YouTube channel. You can also find it on the deck list page on my website. Because I don't own all of the cards, I swap cards in and out with uh, with MTGO traders. You see what my objectives for streaming beyond. No, if that's just it, I'm just I'm just here hanging out doing this until uh, until it's not an option anymore. And when it stops being an option, I'll figure out something else to do. So, I'm going to lean on this. Uh, probably get Blood Crypt here. Could be Valica Titan. Yeah, Blood Crypt plus Blue White Land lets us cast pretty much all our spells. I mean, this deck has 15 red sources in it. Don't don't just tell me it's scary to add the card. Go do the math. What's the hypergeometric distribution say the percentage of times you're going to have double red on four with 15 red sources? There's only one Blood Crypt in Grishelbrand because generally you want to fetch basics with that deck. Thanks for playing miserable decks so I don't have to. Thanks for the support, Hive Mind. I appreciate the four months. Welcome back. Oh, the gold card is Modern Staple Crackling Doom. We are probably going to die this game. I think I'm going to snap bolts here. The Prismatic Omen is pretty bad for us. We're also not going to be able to race them to a Titan. Yeah, we're just very dead. Very dead to double Valakut Prismatic Omen. This is a path out matchup. Can we go through? Can we win through a Titan? Probably not. This deck probably doesn't have a good Valakut matchup. The, the easiest way to tell if a deck has a good Valakut matchup is if I enjoy playing it, it probably has a bad Valakut matchup. Every, every, every deck I play tends to have a bad Valakut matchup. I mean, Boom Bust is really bad in this matchup. You, like, have to destroy your own land a lot of the time. Alpine Moon is much better than, than Boom Bust. This is probably a Snapcaster Mage on two. Into Geist on three. Just attack them a bunch. Every matchup is a bust matchup. Fair. The blue-red tempo deck actually has a pretty decent Valakut matchup. Especially if you keep the Alpine Moons in the board. Yeah. Uh, uh, the stone raining the Valakut deck is generally a bad way to approach attacking it. You just need to kill them. Because, like, remember, the Valakut deck is a deck that basically has 40 lands in it. Or 35 lands. So, like, they have way more lands than you do ways to kill their lands. The other Tron lands do not produce more mana. The, the secret to learning how Alpine Moon interacts with Tron lands is you need to 
you need to look at the oracle text on the Tron lands and see if they have subtypes. I don't have bust in the deck. I've cut it from the deck. Yep. We might just be able to race them this time. I get to attack for eight here and then play Tasker and then kill them the next turn. Just like turn five lethal. May or may not be fast enough. They have a uh, ramp spell into... If they have ramp spell into scape shift, we die. Yeah, it's technically optimal to play this post combat, but I just want to hit my auto pass key and it doesn't really matter. Both the snaps, they're taking six down to 12. And then I actually have 13 power in play here if they have nothing. I have six and then uh, seven. So they're dead if they don't have another bolt. All right, turn five lethal, good enough. Do I want to bring in this wear tear? So normally I don't like bringing in enchantment heat in this matchup because they don't often have a lot of copies of Prismatic Omen, but them having it both games kind of makes me want a couple a couple ways to remove it. And I guess Culligan's command is pretty bad. Path isn't amazing either. All right, let's do this. I don't I don't know that I love this. I feel like we're gonna draw a bunch of these cards. They're not gonna have Prismatic Omen, but the fact that they've had Omen two games in a row makes me think they might be playing more than the normal one or two. I think that's really narrow waffle. Four mana is also a lot. It requires basically crumble requires a lot to go right, and I really don't like crumble in most other matchups. I think I'd rather have Alpine Moon and Damping Sphere against Tron. We're not playing Alpine Moon in the main. There's a deck list on your screen via the Stream Decker widget. If you don't have access to Stream Decker, please type exclamation point deck in chat to get a link to the deck list. Again, I think one of the most important things to recognize about Modern is that your deck's going to have bad matchups. Even even good match, even good decks are going to have matchups that are very difficult for them in a format that just has 50 decks. So just, just because you're finding a matchup hard doesn't mean you need to change a bunch of stuff about your deck. Uh, I scryed a Blood Crypt to the bottom. This is going to be Hollowed Fountain, probably. Yeah, but I'm like pretty unlikely to want to counter scroll this turn, right? I guess if they cast exactly Prismatic Omen, I want to counter scroll it. Do I want a helix or do I want a snap? I think I actually just want a snap. I guess part of this problem here is the way I've sideboarded now. I just like can't beat a primeval titan because I've cut the paths from my deck. Maybe I'm supposed to leave some paths in my deck. Oh my god, I just clicked okay. Oh my god, I just clicked okay. <gasps> oh, Reclamation Sage, sure.
I guess the good news is if they're killing. Oh, I should have. I should have just Chandra this turn, right? Because they have to pay for pack next turn. Yeah, I kind of want to just Chandra tick down. So they pay for this. I guess, I guess this dies to Mountain now, though. But, like, all of our threats die to Mountain that aren't, that aren't, uh, Geist, right? I guess she takes more Mountain hits to die if I, I wait an upticker and just Helix. But, like, I'm not going to have another window to tap out for Chandra is the problem. And, like, she basically gets in two points of damage here regardless. Well, that was a good draw. Is that a good one, chat? All right, so... Blood Crypt, Hollowed Fountain lets us cast either of these. Yes. Okay. Uh, they're on Scape Shift. We can steal this. Nope. All right, need a Crackling Doom. My favorite deck right now is definitely the blue red tempo deck that I played at the open in Indy. Yeah, we definitely helix them here. Not close. Well, I guess if I hold the helix, if I hold the helix, I can kill their thing with another bolt. I mean, I'm not, because, like, Geist kills them in two. And I can, I can still Doom on my turn, even if I draw Helix, right? No, another Bolt doesn't kill them, chat. They can block. They're at 11. 3, 4, 3 is 10. Yeah, because, like, this casts Helix and this casts Doom. See, I'm just going to untap. We drew a land, so it doesn't matter, so we're dead. That's how magic goes. Should have counter squalled the pact, I suppose. I don't know why. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely should have counter squalled the pact. Definitely should have counter squalled the pact. Yeah. Yeah deep breath we're gonna take a break from blue white control for a good long while that deck put me in a bad to interact dealing with the people who are commenting in chat while we were playing that deck has put me in a bad mood i can feel it i can feel it lingering
Do I discard Path or Snapcaster here? Yeah, I think it's Path. Also, can we talk for a second about... Are there supposed to be... Are there supposed to be flooded strands in this deck? Because if this could have gotten Blood Crypt, we'd have been much better off, right? They had no second land. They drew the land right away. So I'm going to flash back Lingering Souls here to trade with the Goblin Guide. Fetch a red source tap. Yeah, because like, if this was a Blood Crypt here... If this was a Blood Crypt, I would have been able to go Colonnade Tapped plus Helix something this turn, right? Which would have been really good for us. Yeah, I think our burn I think we have tools to be okay in the burn matchup. I agree with that assessment. So they have Skullcrack, Eidolon, Grim Lava Mancer here. Yeah, the Helix is gonna kill Eidolon. We're gonna Helix the Eidolon on this turn, and then we'll probably snap Helix on the next turn. You know what? There's a good possibility I should have taken their Skullcrack instead of their their Lightning Helix. Although I guess if they had Helix, they could Helix one of my tokens here. Wait, why are they skull cracking me? I don't understand, but I'll take it, I guess. Now do I Helix... Now do I just Helix Grimboy here? Or do I Snap Path Grimboy? How do we like Snap Path Grimboy? I think I like Snap Path Grimboy. No, they only have one card left, and we know it's Eidolon. I think I just want to get the Snapcaster Mage in play right now, Burgle. I think if I lose this game, it's going to be because I didn't use my mana efficiently. So, like, using two mana this turn as opposed to three feels bad. Because if I snap Helix, I'm going to take more damage, because I'm going to have to take two damage to Snapcaster Mage, because there's going to be an Eidolon in play. I like being conservative here, so I'm just going to block. Worked out. Perfect. Basic land. Basic land. Basic land. Basic land. That is... Man, Tassigoyf is good. Now we are 0 and 1. We lost the first match to Valakut. This is uh, game 1 and match 2 against Burn. Yeah, Tass Tassiger has been very, very good. And they're, they're actually just going to be dead on board, right? Like we're going to attack them down to 10 and then Geist kills them next turn. So they're dead to removal or a red source. I mean, we're at six. So what does top decking damage mean? They might draw a six damage bolt, right? Just good clean value right there. I think Saltai consistently comes up short. I think it just doesn't have quite have the tools that line up well. It's like okay with Death Shadow because then you can kill people efficiently, but even then you're probably just worse than Grix is.
Think of Colonnade as a way to turn your land into a burn spell. This is the best way to think about it. I, I would say you just shouldn't play Sultai. That would be my recommendation. I don't think there's anything meaningful that you're gaining from Sultai that you wouldn't do, be able to do better in other colors. If someone had, like, put a gun to my head and told me I was obligated to play Sultai, I probably would not play Cryptic Command, but... Yeah, Helixes and Brutality and Stackcaster Mage to bring them back, and, like, we have we have reasonable cards for a good clock. You should go to my decklist site, jeffhoagland.com forward slash decklist, and click on the Green Black Rock decklist page there and uh, read through my article on why I prefer green black to other colors. It's a very common question, so I wrote down my answer. Hollowed Fountain tapped into Helix, sign me up. Yeah, the, la the last few times we played Salte on stream, it just felt like a bad green black deck. There's another Helix on top of our deck. God bless us, everyone. It's Hoagland with a long O, like spelled like H O A G would be the pronunciation. Do I write for Star City Games? I mean, you can like really easily answer that question yourself, right? You can like go to SCG site and like search for me. I think I think they have a skull crack too, Burgle. Don't blink, don't blink. I told you not to blink. Uh, we played this deck yesterday. We played this deck the day before. All right, so we're going to 11 here. We're going to go tapped land, go back to 14. They have one card and we're at 14. Blue or white source lets us snap helix. Should you always run three anger of the gods in the sideboard if running red and modern and not aggro? I don't know. I think it depends on your deck. I think it depends on like what matchups you think are hard that you need more tools for. Anger is a really nice card in the current modern metagame because it's a card that's both good against aggressive decks and is pseudo graveyard hate, which is nice. So I think the angers paired with the surgical attractions that we're also playing give us a pretty reasonable. That's a goblin chain whirler. All right. Untapped land. Untapped land. Untapped land. Um... All righty. Well, that's a blue source too. So we're just going to get basic island here. We're going to just snap Helix and go right back on up to 15. Do you think having the first three spells you cast against Burn All being Lightning Helix are good, chat? You think that's, you think that's reasonable? All right. Pre definitely into a can't lose scenario here at this point, right? Just like put this into play and now we're going to end the game very quickly. I agree, Burgle. I hate losing to burn. Some, as someone who hates losing to burn, having a good burn matchup is preferred.
You hate losing to exactly Burn and Valakut and don't care about giving wins to everyone else. What do you play? Bogles is probably pretty good in both these matches, right? I feel like Bogles is probably a reasonable answer. Upgrade. We don't even just have Helix. We won the last game because we also have Collective Brutality. And we have we have an efficient clock that's difficult for Burn to interact with in Geist of St. Traff. And Tassiger's pretty good in this matchup. And we have Path and Lightning Bolt that are both cheap, efficient removal to not get run out by, like... Like, we had a pretty convincing win there, and we were on the draw. That's true. Grishel Brand does beat all three of those decks. I forgot about that one, actually. This will be Blood Crypt tapped into, into Hollowed Fountain, cast all our spells. Tron. We've actually beaten Tron the last two times we played this matchup, but I still don't think it's it's probably not good. Yeah, I guess the Snapcaster Mage is just like a three. Now, I'm going to cast the Helix because if we draw a fetch land, we can play Tassiger. But, like, if they have anything here, we're pretty dead. All right. We have two moons and three damping spheres on the board. Just, like, curve those into Geist. I don't even know what they said, but someone else is like, why are they here? No, oh, that's a permanent ban. Got it. People are such... Oh, huh. Well. Well then. It's this Tron deck. We thought we, thought we were dead. Turns out we got a real good chance. To play Tassiger, leaving Counter Squall in the bin. Wow! Woo! 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 Doggy! That one! That one is, uh,. That one is, uh, sorry to anybody's headphones, I might have just blown out that. Woo! Woo! On a list of things that were not very good for us, that was probably towards the top. Is that one good? Do we know? Does anybody know? How do we, how do we feel about that one? Someone poisoned the water hole. <laughs> I need an object to name a luchador after. I don't know how to respond to that. Perfect. Thank you, Nifty, for the brand new Prime sub. I do appreciate that. Welcome. Name the tower. PV, PVT for life. Thank you very much and welcome. I do appreciate that.
All right, if the guy sticks, we're in a great spot. If the guy doesn't stick, we're probably going to be in a lot of trouble. Pretty sure I just want to jam. Culligan's command lets us rebuy the Geist, which is nice if it doesn't stick. Uh, extension cord, Brecken Sky. Let's go with extension cord for your object name. Alpine Moon stops all of the Tron lands. The Tron lands look explicitly at subtypes. And if you'll see here, the Urza's Tower subtype is currently blanked out on my opponent's card. So it wipes, wipes those dirty subtypes away. So we get to make them discard a card and pick our Geist back up here. No, I don't think resolving the K command really matters, Burgle. This matchup's not really about um, card advantage. So, like, if they're countering my K command, then they would have been able to counter the Geist, too. And, like, especially because I drew the Chandra, this way if they have a counter spell, they counter the K command, and I could untap and draw land. They brought in Surgical Extraction. Okay. Okay. All right. All righty. Ooh. Ooh. It's the it's always the third league that convinces me not to play a deck, right, Chip? Our first two our first two were great with this deck. And now we're getting Valakuted and Tronda all over the place. Untapped land. Untapped land. Alright, that's a lingering souls, I guess. We technically still got a two for one. That's true. Hopefully we can queue into some more decks that care about Lightning Bolt and Path in the last couple. Familiar faces, worn out places, worn out places. Why are Urza land still legal and modern? Because Wizards of the Coast is terrified of change. Nimble obstructionist. Uh, no, I guess that's fine. I can treat a spirit with it. Have an island. All right, man, it's been. I wasn't sure we were going to be able to fit this deck in today, but it's been a brutal league. Just in every every direction, it's just been brutal so far today. Yeah, and like, look at how much blowback they had from that, Dwyer. For the record, I think Tron lands are one of the worst things about modern. I think, I think Tron lands um, beat up on all of the kind of decks that you kind of want to be good in modern. Makes a lot of the, the reasonable mid-range decks unplayable. Like those are those are the decks that are like playing good honest games of magic that you want to feature on coverage. We can still 3-2. We can find a couple of decks that care about lightning bolts and run off a couple here. I know by no means just out of it yet. We've turned we've turned many we've turned many a one two start into a three two chat. 
We get to go Celestial Colonnade into Blood Crypt and have perfect mana, so sign me up. And by perfect mana, I mean we won't be able to cast Crackling Doom on three, but that's fine. I'd be very surprised if they ever ban Tron. Be very surprised. All right, smells like storm. We're gonna tap out for Geist next turn and then they're gonna untap and kill us on their turn three, but definitely it is regardless of what happens here, it is correct to tap out for Geist to Saint Traff this turn. Wizards isn't about card advantage. You know what the best kind of card advantage is in modern? Killing your opponent with cards in your hand. Don't play cards that draw cards. Play cards that deal three damage to your opponent. I'm not sitting here and holding up path because we are far more likely to win the game by killing them than we are by sitting here and spinning our tires. So while there is a chance that we could die when they untap, it looks like we're not dying. You will lose far more games to decks like Storm by giving them infinite time and playing scared than you will be by putting your clock into play. You give People give these decks way more turns than they need to give them and end up costing themselves more games. They It feels bad to lose to Storm. And that's, and that's why people play so scared because emotionally it feels bad. But in actuality, you need, you need to gamble sometimes. No gamble, no future chat. Repeat after me. No gamble, no future. All right, we're going to get rid of the repeal here because it'll get rid of our Geist token and not uh, let them draw a card. I've been streaming Magic full-time. I've been streaming Magic consistently for over a year now. And I've been streaming uh, Magic as a full-time job since March. No gamble, no life from the loan. Think I should have pitched Path, not Doom? Yeah, maybe that was playing too scared. I guess if I'd have kept Doom, I could Helix them here, untap, kill them. But no, they have unsubstantiate, so the Doom really doesn't matter. I think, I think it actually just doesn't matter, Burgle. Shuffler's got my back. Shuffler's, Shuffler's got my back. My, uh, my wife and I have actually talked about if I ever stop being a cam girl at some point in the future, I'm probably going to go do, go do PhD work somewhere. For the people that want to want to claim we miss lethal, they have this card in their hand, so it's okay. It's okay, chat. It's okay. It's okay that you weren't paying attention and you just want to tell me I'm wrong. Something math related, probably probably computer and math, some some type of computer math overlap. I like school. So they have double ritual. Pip, unsubstantiate. Eh, maybe I'm supposed to heal XEOT. I don't know. I kind of like keeping two removal spells in my hand. I kind of like keeping two removal spells in my hand. I'm going to give them both creatures here. I'm pretty sure when they do the piles like this, you're supposed to just give them both creatures. Nah, there's a lot of people out there that already do those. The hasty pastry and they do good work. 
There's no no need for me to overlap what they do. Oh, if I give them Noxious, Helix is lethal. Yeah, that's a good point out. Giving them Noxious means they die to the Helix. That's a good suggestion. I'm just completely out of sorts after that blue-white league and dealing with the people that came with it. This really wasn't fun. Mm. I should have I should have helixed them in response, right? Yeah, that was another mistake. Just just all the loosey gooseys today. How on God's green earth do I want to board this matchup? I'm pretty confident I want all of these cards. Now, what do I want out of my sideboard? What are what if what of these cards do I want? I feel like I've got seven slots here, and I feel like they're probably a mix of these cards. But like, what's the what's the mix? They didn't have fetch land, so they shouldn't be the Blood Moon variation. Okay, command's fine. Yeah, I could see that. What do we think of this?
This seems like reasonable. I think a couple paths are okay. Their best draws involve creatures. I really don't like wear tear. The sand is great. It kind of has text. Maybe a little bit. How many passed in flames? They often board down to just one because they board into uh, that other card in this in this style of matchup. I think anger is important because we have enough disruption in a deck like this that the opponent's deck's best way to beat us generally involves them having empty the warrens. Yeah, pieces of the puzzle. Usually they trim they trim gifts for pieces of the puzzle because they expect things like surgical extraction to come in. So like if they go like ritual empty for six here, that could be bad for us. What do we actually want to surgical in this matchup? Some combination of their win conditions or rituals. It depends on like what kind of position they're in, basically. So, like, here, it might actually be okay to just, like, Surgical take their take their empties away. Although, I guess if they're going to build up into another empty, it'll be kind of obvious, right? I mean, is it trouble? They attack for four, they, they attack for four, they attack for three, they attack for two, they attack for one. That's only 11. So, like, the five, five goblins doesn't beat Geist Token. So they took Desperate Ritual Manamorphose, which says to me they probably have another empty, right? Our mana looking a touch awkward for one of the first times. We've got both Basic Plains and Sacred Foundry, which are two of our three lands that don't cast Counter Squall. Marsh Flats coming in clutch just in time here. Um... I guess I'm just going to pass for now. Now, I think the counter squall lets me keep them off of empty, right? Feels like it at least. I just like counter squall. I just like counter squall the desperate ritual. I could also just like surgical in response to the desperate ritual because I want them to like burn through the resources here, right? So like now I'm going to surgical the empty in response because that looks like what they're going for here. So like now they burn through resources if, if, if empty's their plan. And if empty's not their plan here, I get to gain information about what their plan is and then better use my counter squall against their plan. Yeah, sweet. So they're going for another empty here. So they have pieces, pyretic rituals, sleight of hand. Um, how do we feel about snap surgical? Take their pieces of the puzzle away. If I snap... If I snap Surgical, take their pieces of the puzzle away because there's one in their bin, they they just like don't really have anything left going on, right?
I fetch a basic swamp when I do that as well. Now the problem here is once this and once I let this desperate ritual resolve, they're gonna cast pieces of the puzzle. So yeah, once once this resolves, they'll cast pieces. I'm responding to a ritual here, so I want to continue responding to the ritual. And this again, someone asked earlier, how do you know what to surgical in this matchup? And the answer is really is that it just depends a lot. There's a lot of a lot of different correct directions to go. Like normally using a surgical aggressively like this isn't good, but because I already have information about what's in their hand, I'm basically using this surgical as an instant speed discard spell. So they have uh, two piffs. They have a singleton grape shot and they don't have, they don't have any copies of gifts ungiven in their deck. Cause they've gone, they've gone all into these pieces of the puzzle here. Yeah. Normally they board out gifts. Um, it's weird that they left two past in flames in while boarding out gifts. Yeah. So they, they basically have to naturally find this grape shot and then cobble together mana with it. Yep, and they have no more goblins. So basically, I just need to not die to their their five goblins that they have in play in their miser grape shot. They left two past and flames in. That that's what I'm saying. It's not weird that they have any past and flames in their deck. It's weird that both of the past and flames are in their deck. If they hadn't attacked there, I was going to offer the guy straight, but they attacked, so now I just get to like, you know, do this. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. They should probably have a gifts in their deck over the second pass in flames. Okay, what are we doing with this? So I get to snap bolt, put them to 11, and then a blue or bl a blue source untapped is lethal. How dead do I think they are now? Uh, I think they're, I think we're in a pretty good spot. I'm actually going to go ahead and trade the snapcaster mage for another goblin token here. We'll take down Burrell while we're at it too. They have, they have one grape shot in their deck. They could they could cobble something together here theoretically. Pedro, thank you very much for the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. There's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now. Thanks for supporting mine this month. Welcome. All right, that that should lock things up. Being a little, a little damp. Being a little. Uh, a little musky. My damp, my damp ball. And they'll probably leave the goblins hang back to trade with my Geist next turn, but I just like have a follow-up Geist so it doesn't matter. Yep, we're basically countering any cantrip. Do you watch Bonanza or did you hear that song somewhere ages ago and it just stuck with you? That's just one of those ones that sticks, sticks around.
the no, the no blocks is um aggressive. Maybe that was a misclick. We've had a few of those today. I know that song from Scrubs. Definitely, definitely watch my share Scrubs. Chick, chick, chick it, see. Rick, Rick, Rick it, see. They were, they were dead regardless, but feels good to take them down with the counter squall. You pretend it's not stuck with you until someone sings it and then it creeps back up. A ring, ding, 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 banana phone. Be -do 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 -do. Ling a ling a ling dong ding banana phone do 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 be do 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 be do 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 let's see if we can get another three two do 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 be 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 do do oh Thomas the Tank Engine as a father of two small boys Thomas the Tank Engine is never far away. Just wanted to say the bring to Kiki pile is so entertaining. Hope it shows up again soon. Thanks for the seven months, Doof Monster, and welcome back. This is this is a neat deck. It's got a it's got a good good collection of cards. I have two boys. I have a four and a half year old and a three year old. We played against any creature decks in this league. We've not actually. Burn. Burn doesn't really count as a creature deck. So this next match will be my last match of the day. Thanks everyone for hanging out. I do appreciate it. Um, I'll be live again at some point this weekend. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do an evening. I might just stream while the Open's going on this weekend. We'll see. We'll see. I need to talk to Christy and find out what our weekend plans are. Also, I'll definitely be back on Monday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'm live 9 to 3 every single day during the week. Central Standard Cornfield Time. Lost a die roll. How good is Lingering Souls in this deck? I think Lingering Souls is really good. I think Souls... I think the way this deck is configured, it's built well to be good against both control decks and decks that try and get under you. And it has enough card... It's, it's basically just good against the fair decks, right? And you kind of have sideboard tools to give you reasonable positions against the unfair decks. Well, I mean, after a string of hands with no lands, I guess we'll keep this five. Well... No, I said I might stream while the open is going on. I will not be at the open. East Coast. East Coast events are a plane ride for me, which makes them absurdly expensive. Are there plans to play that again? Also, did someone make... I have not had either of those submitted. The blur... Yes, can't. Uh, all right. Well, this is a matchup where these lingering souls should hopefully punch the clock and go to work here. Hopefully, they do enough damage to themselves that we can end up burning them out. I believe is the open a modern or a team event. It's probably a team event. I feel like every open is a team event. Is it just straight modern? gonna set the tone here for the remainder of the match let them let them know what this is about this match match is about one thing this it's 
stream oh, oh, sweet yeah i probably won't stream during the open then streaming during a team open is whatever it's not a big deal but probably don't want to stream against a straight modern event Spread them. Are we out of white sources? I think we're out of white sources because we cut Godless Shrine. We are, in fact, out of fetchable white sources. I have a basic planes that some of my other fetches can get. We are otherwise out of fetchable white sources. Yep. And this isn't even specifically I want Godless Shrine. This is I want a third fetchable white source. I don't know. Spreading Seas is like really specific. A lot of the ways people are taking you off of your colors in this format involve um, Field of Rune and Ghost Quarter. And like we have a basic for that. They don't have a Tefri. We're going to be in a pretty okay spot here still because Chandra's really good. But if they have like a Tefri, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Because we'll just be able to, like, Tefri talk to Chandra. Did we just smell a white source? <laughs> uh, at least it wasn't the basic planes. At least it wasn't the basic planes. All right, they're down to nine. Um, huh. How do you feel about, like, end step, shock you, discard a card, like, untap, snap, shock you, discard a card? That's probably not good enough, right? Is that good enough? I guess I, like, really want to get the Snapcaster Mage into play, right? And, like, they're going to get to flip Azkanta next turn regardless. like bad lightning you I'm gonna probably respond to the Ascanta trigger with snap shock you plus do the thing yeah and actually like if this other call against command resolves next turn this is uh, potentially lethal, right? Because like if they go to four and when we hit a, hit our planes, we can kill them with this. And remember, this is a game where we mulligan to four or mulligan to five and got thought seized on one. And like the fact that they're just like down to six makes like all of our bolts and our lightning helix is much better draws from here on out. And I wonder, I wonder how much like actual counter magic they're playing. Because, like, we've seen Thoughtseize here, so, like, do they have a mix of disruption? Or, like, if they're focusing primarily on discard spells and disruption as opposed to counter spells, uh, we actually have a pretty pretty reasonable chance of just, like, ripping into burning them out. They could also have things like Remands and Mana Leaks and Cryptic Commands, though. Like, Esper, Esper Control is not really, like, a stock deck in Modern, so there's really no telling what they could be playing. Okay, sweet. I resolved. They've been to another land. Yep. I need, I need a white source for Colonnade. Oh, yeah, if they have Path. Well, they showed us Fatal Push. I feel like Push is probably their removal spell. Yeah. All right.
In response to this ass cane activation, I'm gonna snap Helix then. Upkeep, snap Helix you. And if this resolves, we suddenly have, like, infinite live draws in our deck. Like, Crackling Dooms are lethal, Bolts are lethal, more Helixes are lethal, K-Command is lethal, in addition to our White Source being pretty lethal. Alright, so they have to kill Snap, and they have to beat the top of our deck. I have no idea what happened in this game. I, don't, I do not understand why we were actually playing a game of Magic still. This is going to be an emblem. So bolts and white sources are still lethal here. Untap white sources. Sorry. Asterisk. Need, need white fetch or basic planes or lightning bolt or lightning helix. K command no longer lethal. Burning Souls. Close to lethal. It's getting there. Do I hit them or do I hit Chad? Do I hit them or do I hit Chad? I think I just hit them, right? I think I hit them. I think I want to put them to a negative. And I, I definitely play and flash this back, right? Just like make them have a sweeper or a snapcaster here. Because otherwise, otherwise this, I can't kill this next turn. If they have a sweeper and they get to plus on colonnade, we're probably dead to rights, but this is the make them have it line. Oh, I guess they're technically not dead on board, right? Because they get to plus Chad on Snapcaster Mage, and then they can block a token with colonnade. Yeah, that's that's probably the game. Good draw. Now, the problem here, Chad, is that Gideon's going to four, and he's going to make our colony not deal damage. And... Good thing, I guess. Yeah, if, if Chandra could could hit Gideon here, she'd be a lot better, obviously. I wonder if we'll see them fire up Colonnade and Chad and attack Chandra. Yeah, Chandra can't redirect anymore. So, drawing Chandra, yeah, I was going to say, Chandra's a reason to have attacked Gideon, right? With Elspeth? Yep. Alright, I mean, we can technically draw two things that deal damage here, right? Okay. <sighs> okay. All right. It's a really close game considering how low we mulliganed. Worth noting that if we had attacked Gideon, we would be, we'd win the game right now. If we had attacked Gideon for two, the Geist token would be hitting it to one, or to nothing. So, Bolts, K-Commands, Helixes, all those kill the Gideon here and let us win the game. Well, this is my last match, so, I don't know, 20-30 minutes. I can probably do Jake if that's what you're asking. Yeah, we can go 
Well, yeah. that's why he's there. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, he'll be here in 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, I guess I should have activated Tassiger first, right? Because I could have hit a Bolt or a K command with him. Or a Bolt or a Helix. Yeah, I should have activated Tassiger first. Chandra's at least, like, pulled us through cards that would otherwise be really bad for us. I guess the tar pits would have been okay. All right, bolt plus land, please. <laughs> oh, magic. We've drawn zero, so not only did we mulligan to five, we've drawn zero bolts and one helix and one K command in our top 24 cards. We did mill through the air. You could definitely argue that. No, because I'm going to lose before the guys can do anything useful. So like... They're going to ultimate the Elspeth and kill us next turn, right? Yeah, so I need, to, I need to hit this turn. Yeah, if Chandra could hit Planeswalkers, we would, we would have won this game. Bye, Chandra. So we could draw a Bolt or a Helix here. And we can mill exactly bolt with a land or bolt with another bolt here. Uh, white source does not work. They're still plussing. They're still plussing kids on Colonnade. Come on. Oh, that doesn't, this doesn't work anymore either. Oh, oh, oh. Or dead, right? I think Lingering Souls gives us a redraw, right? Oh, I should have attacked Chad. Attacking Chad forced to block. Yeah, they should have given us souls. Sure. No, you're just activating Colonnade in an awkward manner. These can't deal damage because of Jace anyways, so might as well do this. All right, Chandra. Chandra can hit Bolt or Helix here. No, she can't because this is at four now. I'm dumb.
Oh, that was a pretty frustrating game of Magic. Might, uh, might have attacked the Snapcaster Mage into the Gideon. We'd have won the game. And that would have been better because of the possibility of drawing Chandra and Geist. So if I would have made a different attack with my Snapcaster Mage, rather than putting them to negative one, if I would have knocked the Gideon to two, the Geist would have ended up killing the Gideon and then the Chandra would have had them in the negative. So our paths are pretty bad here. Uh, where to hide see counter squalls seem good. Bring in an alpine moon. As with every match of magic I play on Magic Online, we are currently up like seven minutes on clock. What's going on, Jet? How's it going? We're having a good Friday. TGIF. Now the bolt, it doesn't really make a difference for the bolt effects because the, the thing was at four, I believe. So I think it was just right to, to do the other way. And how to play faster than teaching slow opponents. Yep. So I want a Brutality on two here. I kind of feel like I do, right? Like Brutality's mode in this matchup is just like take a, take a spell out of their hand. Although now I can just counter... All right, now I'm just going to counter Azkanta here. I think holding this to counter Azkanta is better now. Or Spreading Seas. Also willing to counter that one. Shock you, stop your spell. Geist to St. Trash. Geist to St. Trash. Probably grab Sacred Foundry here. Air on the side of extra white. Extra white, extra red. Hopefully rip a black source next turn. Go Brutality plus Souls. We don't hit a black source, probably prioritize pressuring them by putting more souls into play. I just want to get them low so we could use all our burn spells. Get some blue. It's a pretty good draw. I think I'm just going to do that. Doesn't get fatal pushed. Leaves my lingering souls and my counter squall in the bin. Seems fine. Tassic is just like consistently one of the best cards in the deck. Very, very good. I don't think we can afford to play a third, but the two that we have are definitely very good. Going down to less than that was wrong yesterday. I assume they're going to leave some amount of Supreme Verdicts in their deck just because they saw Geist of Draft out of us. a good draw so i think because i have tassiger in play now i really don't want to play into uh, a sweeper anymore by flashing back so i think i'm just going to go creeping tar pit pass here plan to like end step lightning helix them since they're at nine I missed the Godless Shrine at all. Um, a Godless Shrine would have been useful at one point last match, I think. I 
All right, so I'm gonna snap. Oh, I can't snap Counter Squall. I was thinking I could snap Counter Squall, but that is not true. Uh, they're dead, right? I just Helix them, and then Brutality is gonna kill their thing and clear the way. Take a peek at their hand on the way out. See if they let us. Search and venture. Sure. Just like playing as per super friends, basically. Pretty happy with how we've boarded. I need to run to the restroom again really quick. I'll be right back. It's pretty reasonable chat. Seems decent. Nope, there's only one land. Oh, geez. All right, well, let's find out how lucky we are. Definitely thought there were two deltas. What a fine end to a, a day full of. Many mistakes were made. I'm sorry. This was this was a really medium league. I let I let people that were obnoxious during the blue white league get to me. And then it's been kinda off since. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Um we'll probably play this again at some point in the future. I think with better play we would have easily been three two or four one in that league. Um, uh, I may or may not be on. I might take this weekend off. I'll definitely be back. I'll definitely be back at Mon on Monday at some point. If you want to see more at this deck, we didn't see our league yesterday or the day before. I played a little bit better the last two days. We went 3-2-4-1 uh, and four and one in the leagues that we played. So I'll catch all y'all around later. Peace, folks. Everybody have a good weekend. Everybody in the world. Thanks for hanging out today.